All right, guys, I am at Multi uh, Plaza Mall. This is kind of, this is actually not it right here, but this is just the area. That's the skyline. I want to kind of give you that. That's actually the mall right there. There's multiple entrances, but this is one of the main entrances. You might end up coming through another one where the Forever 21 is located. But this is kind of like a view of the, uh, the outside. All right, let's go, in, let's go into this mall. Obviously, we're going into the more luxurious part with Hermes and Gucci and, and a few other Cartier, Cartier uh, high-end stores. Because it's kind of a high-end mall. Like a, Yeah, it's a high-end mall. It's about 500 stores. It's pretty new. I put the date down on when it was built. I can't remember right now. But uh, it looks fairly new. It's like the second largest, largest in uh, Panama. Again, over 500 stores. It's pretty much, again, for the middle, upper middle, to upper class, or, you know, people rich, <laughs> end up going here. It's, uh, Of course, they got a couple of hotels attached to it. Marriott is definitely one of them. We're going to end up going through another different entrance. Uh, but, again, Cartier. I mean, it's a nice, very nice mall. Because I want to share it again. Uh, it's near Punta Pacifica, which is, you know, kind of the high-end area. Uh, haven't really been there just yet, but I... Hope to go. Man, I hope to go there. All right, here's a uh, another part of the mall. Forever 21. Again, Forever 21 in the U.S. is just almost. All of, I thought all of them was closed, but I guess you know. I mean, it's three levels in this mall, like I was saying before. A really nice mall. Now, like again, tag Hua uh, Mablanc Bellagio. Again, a lot of expensive, uh, expensive. Uh, stores in this mall and a few I'm going to show you where kind of the uh, what I consider like luxurious row is located I actually need to go in H&M for a hot second so as I get closer I pick up uh, maybe I go in there a little bit show you a little bit of the store I mean alright let me just get closer to we are closer to H&M let's walk in here for a hot second see what's going on as a Nike store, I probably need to go in there and see, check out the hats. That's my favorite thing, the hats. This must be the lower level for the, maybe this is for men or women. Ah, oh, the men over here. There's a lot of music in there, so I didn't want to do too much recording in there. Uh, obviously, we need to step into this Nike. No, I don't think so. I actually need some sneakers, but not Nike. I need some New Balance, basically. It's a nice Nike store. I always see the hats, so. Yeah, you know, stores like this, you can kind of see from the distance whether or not you want to go in or not. Let's, let's look at the hats for a second here. When it starts. Alright, it didn't take me long to kind of go in there. Alright, alright. So definitely, this is, I think, luxurious, luxurious uh, row, I think. You got Jimmy Choo, Dosi Cabana. Well, it looks like it's closed. I don't know if it's coming soon. Oh, okay, it is. I guess they're renovating. 
Uh, yeah, this is kind of like a luxurious uh, row. Uh, this particular store, I guess, uh, supposed to open, I guess, in uh, uh, in fall, which I mean, soon October. Okay. I mean, even smell different on this row because you can tell it's a little more money. Michael Coors, Carolina Herrera. Uh, yeah, I think there's another store here too somewhere. That's from the outside. All right. That's a little bit ton somewhere in this store. Uh, Omega, Saint Laurent, you went. Uh, let's see. All right, let me pick back up. This mill has a lot of cross sections, so it's not like you start at one point and go from one end to the next. You almost have to to catch everything. You almost have to do a lot of walking in the center and crosses. I call it like cross T's to catch everything. Again, it's three levels, pretty much open. It's a nice looking mall. I mean, I guess the other Nike store was pretty much a uh, all male. I mean, they, yeah, I guess the other one was all male. I didn't realize that. So they have two Nike stores, one for female, females and one for males. Lacoste, Carter's uh, Old Navy. I always got to check out my Old Navy. So let me uh, see how I get up there. You know, you always find something decent in Old Navy. And I don't really find Old Navy in another city. So I always try to check it out when I can, uh, when I see it, which is almost rare. They have them in Mexico. They don't have them in... Uh, Colombia, they don't have them in Brazil. I don't remember seeing them. I don't remember seeing them in the DR either. Uh, so, or Ecuador. So I get up there somehow, so eventually, yeah. All right, so we got a Payless shoe store. They got all type of stores. This is, again, like I said before, kind of middle, upper middle, the high-end store. All right, let's go. Let's go this way. I'm not going to share everything, but I'm sure you're a lot of this mall. Ah, Krispy Kreme. Okay. That's uh, it's always good. Uh, I love looking at Krispy Kreme. She was up in his old Navy. I'm not going to bore you too much with Old Navy because I also got music playing in here so I won't be having it on too long. I didn't really find what I was looking for in there so let's uh oh cinema bar okay we definitely going to have to go upstairs. I'm hungry but uh we we'll check that out in a few. That's the food court on the third level. I think I went into the sports store, sport, sport store before. I think it's one or two levels, I think. Can't remember where I went before to get some sneakers, but I want some New Balance running shoes. Uh, nah, nothing in there. All right, let's go in Sportline, America, which is funny because I don't think I've ever seen one in the U.S. Let's, let's go over here. Right, let's go in here and see what's in here. The sneakers. Uh, maybe it's a New Balance store in this mall. Can't remember. I guess uh, women is on. Maybe this is the uh, women level here. Maybe. Yeah, I think it's the women level. And maybe the level below is our men. I think I have been in here before, I just can't remember. So let's, uh, so this store, sport line has two levels. When it started? 
Yeah, yeah, see. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, gracious, gracious. <laughs> ah, so I knew there was another level. Sure, they got a new balance. It's small. Yeah, let's see how they go. All right, let's see what we can find. Uh, let's see what they have here. All right, let me look at the hats for a hot second. Yeah. Yeah, they don't really have our running shoes, so I think it's a new balance in this store, in this mall, maybe. Yeah, let's, uh, let's... Yeah, they don't have a new balance in this store, so I... Let's see here. Uh, where should we go? Alright, let's go uh, look at some food. Because I'm actually hungry, so let's see what's... We can eat upstairs. I, I, let me pick back up when I'm upstairs. Alright, there's actually a New Balance store. Let's check this out before we go get something to eat. Because... I do remember one being in here. I just didn't buy anything because I didn't see anything I wanted. I liked better. This, this store has just about everything. Really nice mall. How did I not see that before? I was up here. Or maybe I've just seen the same little kiosk right here before. Birkenstock. Ah, I didn't walk this far down. I, I went down. I went the opposite direction. Let's see what we got over here. Okay. New Balance is expensive no matter where you go. I wish I could order them offline on Amazon, but that's just not an option when you're traveling. So, anyway, let's see what I can find. I probably have to pay regular price for them. But let's see what we got here. All right, guys, so I was able to find some of my New Balance sneakers. So let's uh, go to the third level up there. See if we can find some food. See what the food court looks like. I got a Dairy Queen. Tigo, you need to go for cellular. They're in here. Tigo, Claro, all right next to each other. Kind of like a, uh, looks like it's going to rain outside too. Yeah, probably thunderstorm. I'm not going to walk back. Uh, it's a nice little play area, I think, for little kids. Oh, it's not even free. $5. Wow, okay. All right, there's, there's the uh, food court area right there. Just like in the U.S. Um, Pat on on a weekend to get a phone plan, I guess. Post Pago, twelve dollars a month. Oh, Digicel is another one. It's not full. Hi, I will pass by this Dairy Queen here. We got a Hardee's. They got a lot of restaurants. They got 30 restaurants in this place, so these are more fast food places. Fitness food. Actually, I ate here before. It was okay. Uh, Let's see what else we have here. I actually ate here before. Um, oh, sh shawarma, which is probably what I kind of want. Lebanese, I think I had some the other day from a different place. Hardy's, uh, 
pasta, Applebee's, Papa's, Cinnamon Bond. Okay. What else they got here? Chuck E. Cheese over there in the corner. Some wings. I don't know what type of wing does McDonald's. Okay, it's kind of spread out. It's kind of a unique layout. It's kind of spread out. Ice cream. Okay, McDonald's. Uh, KFC over in the corner. Papa John. Got a dip of all the uh, Americans' uh, fast food places. Just about Taco Bell over there. Cubano, Cubano, I see that in uh, Cubano is kind of like a uh, place to sell burgers in uh, pretty big in Colombia. I don't know where it's based out of. That's the uh, subway. Uh, I don't know, Wendy's, Burger King, Chinese food. Crepes and Waffles, which is pretty big enough. Uh, I'm not sure where that's based out. There's a movie theater right here. Cine Cinepolis. Uh, let see what else we got here. All right. Pizza. Let's see. Taco. Let's see. All right. This is pretty much... Yeah, they have restaurants in this place. High-end restaurants, too. So, I'm sure I'm going to... You'll see a few of them in the video somewhere. I won't be eating at them, but uh, at least I'll show you where they are. All right, I'm going to uh, pick back up once I find something to eat. I mean, yeah, find something. I think I may do this uh, Greek place, so maybe. But anyway, let me pick back up. You know, I just had Popeyes, and I forgot how greasy it was. I mean, it's been almost a... Uh, it's been almost two years since I had Popeyes, and it was super, super greasy. I guess I won't be having that no time soon. Probably good I don't have one near me. I probably wouldn't eat that too often anyway. But it's good to kind of catch up on old, you know, food from back home every once in a while. You know, especially your favorite fast food. Even though Popeyes was never my favorite fast food, but I just saw it and decided I wanted some. So. Oh, just go. All right, uh, let's see here. It's raining really hard outside. That's the only thing about this mall. You really can't see. Even though they have windows, you really can't see outside. All right, let's, uh, let's do some more exploring on this mall. All right, give you another view, bird's eye view of the outside. It's still raining. This uh, mall is actually attached to a courtyard by Marriott. You can look at the clouds. Pretty uh, raining pretty hard out there. Well, not super hard, but hard enough to get wet. All right, so let's. Uh, I already went that way. Let's, uh, I'm on the second floor, so I really need, uh, 30 days. I should get some, uh, protein, but, uh, let me see here. All right, let me pick back up in a few to, you know, I actually was going to buy some, uh, protein, but they didn't have anything in GNC I wanted, and I really don't like GNC brand um, protein just yeah just don't like it so anyway all right let's see what else we got up here we're on the second level by the way I mean three levels but I think really just the third level is pretty much I think just the theater and uh, and the food court I, it's really on a two level from what I can see Well, some stores on the third level. So I guess all the food 
places to eat. All places to eat are pretty much on some type of third level, even though the third level is not equally throughout the whole structure. It's basically a two level structure. Uh, and some uh, some places, oh, they got a gap here. Been in a gap in a long time. Let me uh, check out Gap. Adidas, TF Chain. What else they got over here? Okay. Kind of give you another view, first side view tomorrow. Olive Garden. Oh, okay. If you have a craving for a lot of spaghetti and a lot of bread and salad, they go Olive Garden. Banana Republic. Okay. Thought that had closed down. But I haven't seen one in a while, so. I mean, I, I'm not going in Gap, because Gap is a more expensive old Navy. And I refuse to pay extra dollars for some of the same stuff I can get at Old Navy. Even if it, even it, even if it is the material is a little bit different. It's still the same stuff to me. Some of the restaurants, I guess. Again, it's another view of the city. Plateau, Scotia Bank City. That's kind of one of the other entrances you can come in. It depends on where you're coming from, you come to different entrances. These are some of the more uh, higher end restaurants. If you don't want any fast food, if you want some restaurant sit down type restaurants, this PF Chang, I think I already shared that. Nice looking more. Very nice. Right, so you got Victoria's Secrets, uh, you have a American Eagle Outfitters. Why that store is still around, but I guess it's still pretty popular around the world. Sunglasses Hut. Got Pool and Bear, which is pretty much out of Europe, I think. Not the US. Let's see what the end of this hallway right here. Stevens, which is, I think, it's the equivalent of a Macy's, I think. Quick service upstairs. It's a Mac store. They don't really have uh, Apple stores. They just have, like, uh, resellers. Like a... Uh, I guess an authorized reseller like the Mac store uh, is pretty much a popular chain in Mexico also. And I think uh, Colombia also. So KitchenAid, Penguin, Sketches. What else we got in here? Boss. Quite a few stores. Uh, uh, yeah, let's walk down this way here. You also have like Kevin Klein. What are the few other stores here? 
It's a really nice mall. Diesel, uh, well, uh, plenty of cafes. Let's walk down this way right here. I mean, the mall is not a maze, but you can't find yourself walking to the same area just the way it's the layout of the mall. So. Plenty of stores to sell watches here, which is something I really never noticed in any other mall. So I don't know if that's something unique about just this area, that they like watches, you know, classical watches. I know guys. Dior, what else would be? All right. What else we got over here? Okay. Got many entrances. I guess if you need to buy a ticket for airlines, you got Copa Airlines. I think I also saw a couple other airlines in here. I can't think of the name. Cartier is actually on the second floor, which is funny. It's nowhere near the, uh, the first floor. All right, guys, so I think I'm going to end this, uh, this video. It's a nice place. Nice place to eat. Nice place to hang out while you're in Panama City. Uh, Alright guys, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video right now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell for the next video. You know, trying to bring you as much as I can, no matter where I'm at. So, anyway, thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.